Welcome back. In this eighth section of our course, we will focus on inputs and forms in React Native. In this introductory video, I would like to clarify a few key aspects and set expectations for what we are about to dive into. When developing UI for web applications, we have lots of HTML elements at our disposal to capture user input. For example, input fields, text areas, drop down menus, checkboxes, radio groups, and many more. However, when it comes to working with React Native, our options are more limited. As of this recording, the core React Native library only provides us with two input components, text input and switch. These will be the sole focus of our learning in this section. But you might wonder, what about the other components? The good news is that Expo expands our toolkit, offering additional components like checkboxes and date pickers through the Expo SDK. We will dive into these topics in a separate section. Creating forms in React Native presents another challenge. Here, we typically focus on four key aspects. Managing form state, handling form validation, displaying validation messages, and submitting form data. Though these steps can be streamlined with libraries like React Hook Form, we'll keep our learning to vanilla React Native in this section demonstrating how to handle forms manually without external dependencies. In the future, I might dedicate an entire section to combining React Native with React Hook Form, so stay tuned. For our journey into inputs and forms, I've created a new Expo project named React Native Forms. Feel free to follow along by creating a similar project using the command npx create-expo-app followed by the project name, which is rnforms. With this setup in place, join me in the next video, where we will learn about the text input component in React Native.